Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, we're looking at a hot one, 90, and feeling warmer than that in oh, certain spots. Boy, yeah. boy, yeah. We're, we're feeling it. Yep. Going to be All humid. Days of summer. We're in it August 1st, 2024, which, by the way, is my sister Dina's wedding anniversary today. Oh, you remember. Yep. Uh, August 1. Hard to forget August 1, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, like, my sister Amy, I, I'm pretty positive she's May 29th, but May 29th... <laughs> No, but, like, that's an odd day to remember. Like, it could be May 27th or 28th. or Like, I feel like it's the 29th. August 1st, very hard day to forget. You know what I mean? I guess, sure. Yeah. Uh, I think there's some logic to that in my Was own... Was it very hot when she got married like it is today? I don't remember. You don't remember? It is hot, though. I remember a, a, um, a wedding I went to in May years ago. And there was like a heat wave, something weird. Like it was 95 degrees in May. Mm. And I watched the bride's bouquet (laughs) wilting, wilting while they stood outside of the church that they just got married. I could literally see the flowers wilting away. It was too much. Very sad. So sad, Candy. Yes. Uh, Can you believe it's August 1? Here we go. I mean. Crazy. Z. Now, you have big plans for tomorrow. What's going on? So, today, Candy, is our Friday, you and I. Oh, thank God. I mean, All yes. Right. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. You won't be here tomorrow? Candy's going to get extra sleep yep. today. Yay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to do one more college visit for the summer. You know, last weekend we did two schools, yes. and we're going to do one more, and then that's it for the summer. Then anything All else right. we do will take place going? in the... Uh, fall or winter. Um, we're going to go up to New Hampshire to see Dartmouth. Oh, that is a little uh, stretch there. Oh, enjoy yeah. New Hampshire. How nice. I've I've been there once to a wedding as well. <laughs> um, enjoy. I heard it's uh, quite lovely up there. Mm-hmm. I've never um, been, so I definitely want a full review. Give or take about five and a half hours of a drive. But again, after that Nashville trip, it's a it's a hop around the corner, no big deal. Uh, so, all right, we're excited about that. And, and who uh, is all attending? Uh, what are you doing with? You have two other children. Well, what's happening? Who's going? Places, people. <laughs> Elijah is going on this one. What? Uh, at, well, he we had nowhere uh, for him to be. You know, my father in law is still here, but he's working. He's out of the ah, house all day. Cool. Yeah, and. Abigail is uh, currently in the middle of a sleepover at her cousin Molly's house. Oh, well, she one day will just say, Dad, I'm, I'm, I'm going to live here. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> Feasible, for sure. Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right, so Elijah's coming. I hope he enjoys yep. it. Yeah, Elijah's going for the ride, and it's going to be a, a quick trip. And, uh, yeah, we're staying over uh, for a night, and then we're going to— we're going to go check it out, and, and yeah, she's excited to see an Ivy League school. She wants to see at least one, so I think you should go. check out Princeton, too, because it's not that far, and it's gorgeous. All right, here's the rule, okay? If we get down that direction to Jersey, maybe we swing by, but we, get, we visit one Ivy League school. We're not touring multiple Ivy League schools. She can apply to Princeton— and then one day we can go check it out, or if she was lucky oh, enough to whatever. get it. whatever. It's just beautiful. I love understand. I'll, I'll just I understand. go there for the ride. I mean, I, I love it there. I love it now, and I love all it. It's gorgeous. I know. We don't get that direction too often, you too know? for you. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's it. We're going to see some uh, nice scenery, take a nice drive, and uh, we'll we'll check it out. And she's excited about uh, the tour and all. So away we go, Candy. And All right. That would be it for our uh, college trips for the summer. And then maybe we'll look, uh, you know, in the fall or the spring. We'll we'll see what happens. But that's it for now. So uh, what do you have planned for the weekend? Um, Sunday I see Maeve. I'm going down there, which is my favorite thing to do because then I just get all this alone time. I don't mean alone, but, you know, play time with Maeve. Yeah. So I'm really psyched about that. 
and I haven't seen her in about a month. The last time I saw her was my birthday, which uh, was about not quite a month. Yeah, ago. almost, almost a almost, month ago. But not quite. Yeah. So, uh, so what do you have? Uh, you have gifts for her, right? What do you course, got? Of course, I have the grumpy monkey stuffed animal with the book Grumpy Monkey. Never heard of it. What is Never that? heard of it, but it's new to me, and it's a, a story about a grumpy monkey, and you get the stuffed animal with it. And it's right. so popular that we had to get Tilly a stuffed grumpy Oh, monkey. of course you did. She loves it so much. Hmm. And I got her a little fall dress with a denim jacket, and I don't know what else yet. A fall oh, dress oh, with... That's cute with a oh, denim so jacket. Oh, cute. I can't take it. Yeah, very cute. Oh, my God. And we God. FaceTimed yesterday. Daddy took today off to be mm. with them. And she was loving up on her daddy. Oh, it just made my heart swell up. She was giving him kisses and hugging him with her little head on his chest. I can't take it. You know, it's funny. I had a funny moment with my own daughter yesterday, my 16 and a half year old daughter yesterday. Oh, yes. Because, you know, Abigail's a hugger. Elijah's a hugger. No problem. They'll go right in for it. I have to tell you. I can't remember the last time. Maybe she was five. I have no idea. When, <laughs> Stop. Well, no, I swear. When, Le like, Leah, uh, I know she loves me. We spend a lot of time together. But she does not hug, really. So, um, yesterday, I went, I kind of make the rounds before bed, see how everybody's doing, right? And I went in for a hug and I don't know, I was just like, come on. Like, I was in a weird mood. I'm like, come on, Leah, give me a hug. And I, she very, like, you know, she didn't want to, but she flailed her arms around me. And then, you know, so I grabbed her, I gave her a hug, and I said, come on, squeeze those arms. Let's go. Oh, and, boy. You uh, got a full one. I got a full hug from Leah yesterday. Yeah. Nothing better. Nothing better. <laughs> it, it had been a decade, I think. Really. I mean, it's you, crazy. We should have photographic proof, but that's wonderful. Yeah. Love it yeah. on the kids. Love them. It happened. I, it, it truly happened. I promise you that. Uh, we have plenty to get to this morning, Candy. Uh, ooh, I have a really fun list. So apparently... Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine has a lot of F-bombs in it. Okay. So, right. So they made a list of the movies with the most F-bombs in it. And I'll give oh. you that list. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You've probably seen most of them. I will tell you that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, things we did as a kid that just make you say, why? Like, where'd that come from? It's so random, but everybody did it. Well... Uh, delve into that. A back to school article as well, and something I read about chocolate that made me uneasy this uh -oh. morning. Oh, chocolate yeah. uneasy? Is that yeah. possible? We'll get to that. National Days, good news stories, lots going on. It's going to be a hot one. 90 for the temperature. Could feel warmer in certain spots. Humid, it's just one of those days. Let's hit the roads, my country. 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.